My family is really important to me. We spent the last few years apart. This Thanksgiving was really special because everybody came together. Salute to Pooh. Pooh Bear. My first great nephew, right? No. That was my first. Yeah, you were my first Shit, great nephew. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> That's why he's a great, isn't he? Paper How did I get the nickname Pooh? I think Lil Bob gave you that name. I'm not for sure. That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, everybody just start calling you Pooh. Hey, Milo, clap your hands. Clap your hands, Milo. Clap your hands, Milo. Clap your hands. Clap your hands, Milo. Run away, do 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 Run away. Yeah. Give me five. <laughs> I've never been so excited and elated to see my family because it was like nothing changed. <laughs> 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 That's the model for chicken. Boost the mama's chillin'. Hey, boost the mama's chillin'. Yo. I'm in there a story. <laughs> we joked, we laughed, we talked about serious stuff. We talked about stuff that I wanted to talk about. Like, I'm making this short film about being black in America. And organically, a conversation came up. Here that they in Rikers Island, they didn't change their whole attitude because they live to survive. Any black man in this country, and you are a black man, yeah. know that there is no fair justice for black men. Wait a minute. You know that going in. I do. Devin six three six four. So what? he come out on a little a little little uh 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 officer this okay. tall. And what? That officer gonna feel intimidated by this by him. Yeah. Devin better not make a damn move out of ordinary. I just got through saying the black man in this country ought to know what. But you mean to tell me Devin got the right to say, officer, I haven't done nothing wrong. Devin in this country, black man ain't got a right to say shit, but yes, sir, no, sir. My cousin, cousin Juwan, he he was the MVP, man, because he he had these conversations about being a black man and not having his father and I related to that and he's been somebody I looked up to for a long time and I'd never seen that side of him and it was really it was beautiful it was inspirational it it made me feel like I wasn't alone he conveyed emotion and I, my family doesn't really do that like there's so many egos in my family that you can't really criticize people without them getting upset. We can't be vulnerable. People refuse to take accountability sometimes and that's tough because, you know, you gotta bite your tongue sometime to save your face and, you know, not being able to have the conversations that you wanna have, you kinda shrink yourself. And I've gone through this transformation this year where I'm vulnerable and, you know, I'm not afraid of being wrong or hearing the word no. Feeling like people that I believe in and I trust are going to leave. You know, those are all things that I've dealt with. And I've hit this point where I just want everybody to be able to express themselves and, and feel how they feel without it being... World War Three, you know, somebody being upset at somebody because people are human. Like, I'm really tough on my mom. I'm really tough on my sister. And I forget that they're human and they make mistakes. And it's kind of a, I feel, I feel bad because I hold them in such high regard. I had to stop talking to my mom this summer. 
because, you know, we, we had a difference of opinion on a couple of things. And that was the hardest six months of my life because I love my mom. What was me trying to get a shot in the damn window of the dummy? Over on Euclid. When I was, uh, you oh, the uh, Best Buy, the, yeah. the Black Friday. Yep, yep, Black Friday. You didn't do nothing this year. <laughs> Black Friday. I'm going to do that when I get back. The sequel. It's called Cyber Monday. Mama, I got the teeth. People actually, some dude keep like, like when I said, Mama, I got the teeth. Have you ever seen the video? Yeah. Yeah, he always bring up the Mama, I got the TV part. My mom has raised me to be the man that I am today. She did it by herself. And I always hold her to this high standard. And if she falls below that, you know, I just, I tear into her. Like, you taught me this. You told me not to do this. But I don't always do the right thing. And being able to understand that I had to distance myself and let her make mistakes and do what she needs to do. Uh, it was... It, it, it was There was a void because, you know, I wanted to see if she was okay. But I couldn't because... It wasn't time for me to do that stuff. And I got to see her for like the Thanksgiving. I haven't talked to her. I didn't talk to her from July until November. And I got to see her on Thanksgiving. My grandma said, hey, are you going to be okay seeing your mom? I'm not mad at mama. I miss mama. I tell my friends all the time. I tell my friends all the time. I miss my mom. That woman sacrificed a lot. She tried, and that's all. That's all you can really ask for. Cause life is hard. But I really miss my mom, and I'm glad that what happened this Thanksgiving was bringing everybody together. I'm really glad that that happened. And I look forward. They made plans. They made plans for Christmas without me saying anything. That was really special.